तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः तमेव माता च पिता बंधुष सखा तमेव विद्याद्रवीणेव मम देव देव जे उत्पत्ति स्थिति लय करे वेदोस्तुति उच्चरे जे नारो मसुछिद्रमा अणु समा ब्रह्मांड कोटि फरे माया काड रवि शशि सुरगणो आज्ञान लोपेक्षण एवा अक्षर धाम नाधिपति श्री स्वामी नारायण जनी अमृतवाणी तो वही रही साक्षात महिमा रूपे जनी ब्राह्मी स्थिति अहोलि न करे सुभव्य अक्षर पदे शरणागत निज अल्प जीव सहुना श्रेयार्थ तत्पर रहे काका स्नेहल सिंधु दिव्य विभुने हयु तो वंदन करे सजानंद स्वामी महाराज नी जय 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 आज के आनंद की जय 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 सदगुरुदेव की जय 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 गुरु हरि काका जी महाराज गुरु हरि पप्पा जी महाराज बंधु बेलड़ी शताब्दी पर्व महोत्सव नी जय 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 प्रगट ब्रह्म स्वरूप हरि प्रसाद स्वामी महाराज नी जय 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 प्रगट ब्रह्म स्वरूप प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज नी जय 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 प्रगट ब्रह्म स्वरूप महंत स्वामी महाराज नी जय 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 प्रगट ब्रह्म स्वरूप जस भाई साहेब नी जय 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 प्रगट ब्रह्म स्वरूप मुकुंद जीवन स्वामी गुरु जी महाराज नी जय 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 सर्वे गुणातीत स्वरूपो नी जय 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 आज रक्षाबंधन निमित्त हमारा बहनों बदा आया ऑल दी लेडीज हैव कम सिस्टर्स हैव कम ऑन दिस ओकेजन ऑफ रक्षाबंधन दैट इज वेरी नाइस बट लाइक पंकज भाई से इज इफ यू कम एवरी फ्राइडे इट वॉज इवन बेटर इट वुड बी बेटर टूडे इवन इन द स्कूल टाइम ऑल अवर यंगस्टर्स हैव कम यू नो इवन दो दे हैव स्टार्टेड देयर स्कूल दैट इज वेरी गुड ऑल्सो so if we can find a time to come to satsang we would get lot of positive vibrations and we would have this blessings of the god and gunatit saints so that is what we have to keep as priority and if we come we will be all progressing and enjoying last week i was gone to india and because of that the rakshabandhan which was supposed to be last friday it is forwarded to today and i am very happy about it because i am the beneficiary and i had to go for the purpose but with your all kind replanning you know i will be the enjoying most and i will be getting the benefits from our all benos you know rakshabandhan is the day when a sister ties the rakhi on the hand of a brother and gives the blessings that my brother be protected from all these issues and negativities and problems you know so that is the normal custom in our rakshabandhan the story goes back many many years ago you know in the time of mahabharat abhimanyu was tied this raksha by kuntama to protect him and even before that there was a story 
of the son of Prahlad, Bali Raja. He was also protected by the god. And that is why when the Brahmins tie this Rakhi, they sing that slok, you know, Baddha Baddha Bali Baddha. So, that is story going up to the Bali Raja, you know. We have talked that story many times, so I will not take time to, you know, repeat again. But anybody who wants to know more, we will give you the reference from our previous discourses. Or if you want, I will talk to you in person, you know. So, the story goes about this Rakshabandhan. Then, two days ago, we had the birthday of Lord Krishna, Janmashtami. So, we are, it was yesterday really, right? Yeah, yesterday. So, we are very fortunate and happy to celebrate that birthday of Lord Krishna, which was 5,000 years ago. He was born in India and we are celebrating that every year and uh, we are doing that today also. Lord Krishna, he was the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. And even though the parents of Lord Krishna were put into the jail by the mother's brother, the mother's name was Devaki. And father's name was Vasudev. And Devaki's brother, Kaunz, put his own sister and brother-in-law in jail. And there is a big story in Srimad Bhagavatam and even Mahabharata. You know. So, the story goes again that Kaunz was a demonic king, you know. He was a bad guy. But his sister was a very holy lady. And Kaunz arranged the marriage of his sister with a very famous king. And that marriage happened very nicely. And Kaunz spent a lot of money and resources to have that marriage. At the end of the marriage, Kaunz was allowing his sister to go to her husband's home. That is how the normal custom is, you know, that a woman gets married and then stays to the husband's home. So when he was farewelling, you know, saying goodbye to the whole group of family members and others, the Akashwani, the news from the thunder sky came to the ears of counts and people, saying that you are enjoying this marriage ceremony, but beware that the eighth child born out of this family will be your enemy, will be your killer. And all of a sudden, counts became furious and angry, and he pulled out the sword to cut off the heads of both of them, you know, his sister and his brother-in-law. But then people there and, you know, his sister herself says that, you know, we have no purpose to do this to you, you know. And please don't kill us, you know. So then he kept them into the prison, you know. And whenever a child is born, he kills the child, you know. And it happened like first and second, you know. And then <clears throat> Naraji comes, you know, and tells that you don't want to stop, you know, you want to continue until the all eight number, you know. And that goes on, you know. But on the eighth child, when Lord Krishna himself is born, the all gatekeepers goes into the deep sleep. The chains they were tied with becomes untied, you know. And a baby is born and Kaunz uh, is also sleeping and the father, Vasudev, is taking Lord Krishna through the jail doors, crossing the river Yamuna and exchanges 
the daughter from the other place, a daughter of Rohini. And it was a Maya. You know, and brings that daughter back and the doors closes again on the jail and he has again his chains and in the morning the news comes so counts comes and he says this is the end of it this is the eighth child so he grabs the foot of the girl and he says why this is girl you know it, it is supposed to be a boy and in the meantime the girl out of extraordinary power flies out you know and laughs at him you know and says you stupid your killer is already born <laughs> you cannot do anything to me <laughs> and that makes him you know more angry and more furious there's a big story going on you know if you are interested you can read this uh, Srimad Bhagavatam and Mahabharata you know that would tell you all these stories you know but Lord Krishna was born on the eighth day of the dark half of the month which is on the lunar cycle, I mean, uh, on the, you know, moon cycle, which is right now the eighth day of the dark half of the moon. And in another five days, it will be a new moon, you know. So, that is the dark night he was born. And he was born at midnight. And all over India and everywhere, all these believers of Lord Krishna and others, you know, they celebrate this great occasion. And Lord Krishna is very powerful, very loving God who had come down on this earth and gave the lot of good wisdom. One of them is Bhagavad Gita. Gita is very well known all over the world and that is given by Lord Krishna between Arjuna and Krishna. So we pray on this day that our inner ignorance go away and God resides in our heart and he can guide us and he can protect us in every moment of our life. So that is the message. Kakaji had written that message in a book Patra Sanjeevani. We read that in this morning today and what his message is that we have to establish our understanding and rapport with God so that God is always within us and he is guiding us so that we are not committing any mistakes. And there are other Vachnamruts that Swaminarayan Bhagavan has recited, which is Vachnamrut Gadra, middle 13, middle 14, and Gadra, last 11. Those are the Vachnamruts Kakaji referred that we would get that kind of maturity by praying and, and practicing this way. So that is the message of Janmashtami also. We don't have a lot of time, you know, otherwise we can go in more detail. But two Fridays ago, our Pintu Bhai and Sapan Bhai and everybody were suggesting that on Friday Sabha, we should read Vachnamrut. And we had started Vachnamrut first. We were about 30% into that and another 70% is still not completed. So, I want to make sure, you know, that how do we want to do, uh, do we want to do it today a little bit more or do we want to go back to somebody talking about these two occasions, Rakshabandhan and Janmashtami and do it next Friday, you know. So, huh? What is that? We will complete leftover Vasanamrut. Everybody is wanting to do that. We have another 15-20 minutes that we can maybe, you know, go into that. Or if you want, we can have, you know, what I said, you know, for these two occasions, they talk about that, you know. Anybody wants to share about these two things first? You know, about Raju uncle, Thoro Kulab so? Janmashtami no ne Rakshabandhan no? Right. So what we are going to do up to 9.15, we would do this discourse and then we would start Rakshabandhan that Beno will tie Rakhis to the brothers, you know. Okay, so 
पिंडू भाई बार से बार गया से। तो गुजराती में बाकी वचनामृत है थोड़क वाँचवा विजय भाई तब आओ वाँचो तो तो हम आ चुके हैं। हाँ मच्छे, हम आपू। 